Hey, what's going on guys? Nintendo 64 here and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to discuss the video game that is Sonic Frontiers. So, over the course of the past week and a half, we've gotten a few a few little snippets of Sonic Frontiers gameplay, both we've ever gotten. And um yeah, it's uh, it's something else. It, it's something else. So, on the 1st of June, IGN released a 7-minute preview of the gameplay, and then a few days later, we got a look at the combat. Um, there's a lot to discuss. So, I want to make it clear, this video isn't only made to bash the game, and it's not made to bash the developers, because developing a game, it's hard work, and I'm not saying that they're lazy or they're doing a horrible job, they're just doing what they're told to do. So I'm not I'm not telling you to witch hunt the developers and I'm not saying anything bad about the people who are behind this I'm just taking everything at face value and discussing my gripes with it as well as things that I do like That's all I'm not here to just say oh, it's Sonic. So it's bad. I'm not IGN. I'm not Aaron Hansen I'm not at any of those But anyways about the game itself The gameplay looks Well, it looks bad in my humble opinion, it's not good. The way Sonic looks, first off, he has his Forces model, which, despite me not liking his Forces model, it's not a really big deal. Should it have been a new model to fit more with the art style of this game? Yeah, probably. But it makes sense to be reusing a model. I mean, I don't know, less work that has to go into it. Understandable. Fine, I guess. However, it's everything surrounding his model that sucks. His animations are stiff and lifeless. There's no life put into any of his animations. They all look so stiff and just janky. Seeing Sonic pull off tricks off of a spring or something just looks so off. And his running animation is so stiff. His arms don't move, his head doesn't move, his quills don't move. His quills like don't move at all. It's just his legs and a little bob of the head. That's it. Even when boosting, all he does is clench his fists. That's just not... I don't know. It's just not good. It's not up to the standard that I would expect from, you know, a AAA video game. It's just a little bit lackluster to see. But they're just all reused animations. Nothing is new. And another problem I have is just... The environment. The environment around Sonic just looks awful. Like, if you were to put this environment in any open world game, I would be impressed. I'm not saying it looks ugly, and I'm not saying it's a badly designed environment, because that's not true. It's not Sonic, though, and Sonic does not fit in this environment. If you gave me a reason for why Sonic is just in a grassy open field, fine, but it just doesn't look like Sonic. It doesn't look like anything that I can visibly see in Sonic's world. We've had realistic environments in Sonic games before, like Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Unleashed, but the thing about those games is it was all stylized. You could very well see Sonic and, like, different animated characters standing in this world, and it doesn't look jarring. This is just as real as realism can get for a Sonic game, and then you plopped his forces model in, and it doesn't look natural. Sonic looks so bizarre and the springs and boost pads don't fit there either the only thing that looks normal is the enemies even then they kind of don't fit the style either i feel like the style of this game is very inconsistent and doesn't quite know what it wants to be from what we've seen and a huge problem i have is momentum but a while back i think like two years ago i made a video about how sonic team they don't know what the word momentum is anymore, they don't know what it is, and it has been dead in Sonic games for a while. And this, this Frontiers gameplay just shows it so horribly. Sonic has no momentum. When he runs, he has the same top speed, no matter if you're going up or down a slope, and when you boost, that's the only speed you get. There is no momentum when running down. I hate to say, like, anything about fan games because fan games don't always meet the expectations of the Sonic team game 
because like fan games you have then building off the foundation of already established ideas from Sonic Team. But sometimes they break away and make their own thing. My examples are Sonic Roboglass 2 and Sonic GT. Personally, I think they are the two best fan games out there of Sonic. When you're playing Sonic GT and you're running through the first stage, you go down a slope, Sonic starts clenching his fists, reeling back his arms, pushing his head forward, his feet go even faster, and you just go. The screen like pans outwards, wind starts going by the screen, and you know you're going fast. The longer you go down a slope, the faster you go. And as you go up a slope after going fast, you get shot up. Because it's momentum. And you can even, oh, get this, roll into a ball to increase your speed. Not once in the Frontiers gameplay is there momentum, nor is there any evidence that Sonic can roll into a ball. There's no spin dash that we've seen, and there's no rolling that we've seen. Why? Modern Sonic has not had the spin dash since Sonic Lost World nine years ago. Why? I don't understand why it's just take it from him. It's like only classic Sonic can roll now. It just, it aggravates me. So many fundamentals about Sonic characters are being taken out of him, and it's, it bugs me. Another thing is, I'm not too fond of the way the world around Sonic is. I know I said that the world looks bland and it doesn't look like Sonic fits in. But another problem is the random springs, boost pads, rails, and big monuments that are just there with no explanation. There's just rings in the sky, springs in the sky, there's just rails everywhere. It looks like someone took a Unity playtest room and just started placing assets in the sky. And they just pop in and out of existence when Sonic is running around. Why? Why are they there? It's either give us an open playground or give us actual level design. But instead, they've just decided to Plop in a bunch of Sonic assets in this giant open world. Why? Multiple times throughout the gameplay trailer, you can see whoever's playing it is actively trying to avoid like rails on the ground and he gets stuck to them a few times. I'm sorry, but when I'm, you know, running around as Sonic and I'm constantly magnetizing to rails or being forced into do like boost pads or being stuck on a spring that puts me right onto a rail, I'm gonna get annoyed. I'm not gonna have fun, I'm gonna get annoyed pretty quickly. And that's, that's a huge problem. That could be only in this one area, but it just still shouldn't be in this area. We might as well discuss the pop-in. I don't think the pop-in is an all version thing. I do feel like this version that we've seen was on the Switch, and that's why there's so much pop-in, and just like, the quality isn't the best. However, I could be proven wrong. If I am proven wrong, then that's kind of even, that's worse. But for right now, I'm not too worried about the pop-in. One thing to take away from the initial gameplay is it's rough. It is rough. Sure, the guy who was playing it, or girl, I don't know, they weren't doing a fantastic job at showing off the game. They should have gotten somebody else, or maybe the person playing it should have played it better. But I still don't fully blame them. They were probably just playing it the way they were told to play it and to not go overboard with anything else. They were probably being instructed what to do and what not to do, so I'm gonna put a lot of blame on them. I just think, in general, it doesn't look good. However, there are a few things I do like. I do like the way the combat looks. Now, the combat is definitely something else. The only combat we have ever gotten in a Sonic game is in Sonic Unleashed with the Werehog. And I guess you can kind of count the homing attack as combat and like the weird homing attack kick from the Lost, like from Lost World. But I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not counting spinoffs like Boom because Boom, you know, had combat. I'm talking mainline modern Sonic games. This is the first one we've had since Unleashed. I think it looks pretty snappy and snazzy. The animations are still stiff. Sonic doesn't have any animations when, you know, fighting in the sky. He just kind of stands there awkwardly. The tornado kick is really stupid looking, but that's mostly animation grabs. I do think the combat looks pretty interesting. 
and especially when you're like using the rift to like bring them upwards and then you start homing attacking them i feel like that's pretty cool what i don't like is the giant the giants whatever they are besides seagulls flying through them they look automated to an extent when they place down their hands you go through rings and it automates you up instead of building up momentum yeah, there's that word again that building up momentum and then launching yourself upwards they just have automatic dash things that just fl fling you up because they they don't want you to they don't want you to do it yourself that requires too much work i don't know i'm not a fan of it it's just not the way i would want that to be handled and it just looks very very clunky that's that's what the word that could be described for this game in general is clunky and to everybody who's like, oh, it's an unfinished build, and we're seeing alpha gameplay, that doesn't matter. We are getting shown what we are getting shown. So I'm going to make my impressions and my opinions off of what we're shown. I don't care if it changes later. If it changes and turns out to be a fantastic game, that's great. That's fantastic. That's all I want. I want this game to succeed. I want it to be great. I don't want to see this game be bad. That's not what I want. But from what we're seeing, from what we've been getting, it doesn't look good, in my opinion. If you're over there sitting like, and you see these gameplay trailers, and you're getting excited, and you're like, this is the future of Sonic, I love this. Fantastic, that's amazing for you, and I'm so glad that you can enjoy this. But personally, I feel like we deserve better. It's been five years since a mainline Sonic game. Well, five years since this game has been in development, and I expected more. I expected to see better. And what I'm getting from this gameplay is not five years of development, that's for sure. It looks like a test. And if this is like the first alpha build and we're seeing later versions of alphas in each gameplay, that's stupid. Why would they do that? This is the same version. The combat trailer and the gameplay trailer are the same development build. People are like, oh, but the model's different. The model's the same. Sonic looks the same. It's just angles. There's no life in... Sonic Frontiers from what I've seen. It all looks just the same and bland and uninteresting. But I don't want this game to be bad and I want to see it succeed. I want this game to be good. I really do. I'm gonna play it whether it's good or bad. So at the end of the day, I'm not here to say that it will be a pile of crap. But from what I've seen, just from what I've seen, I do not like the way it looks. I don't like the way the controls look. I don't like the way the world looks. And I don't like the way the gameplay looks. I don't think this game will be the Sonic killer. And I don't think it will be nearly as bad as levels like... Like on the levels of Sonic 06 or even Forces. But I do think it isn't the proper step into open world that Sonic needs. It's definitely not the game the franchise needs right now. We're on a Sonic high right now. We have the movie... We have Origins, we have Prime, and to see the mainline Sonic Team brand new open world 3D Sonic game be the one that's the most decisive and the most bland and uninteresting, it's just really disappointing that we have to rely on a packaging of old Sonic games or complete like unrelated projects for our, our good old Sonic fix. And the actual project that we should be excited for is the one that is so decisive and nobody can really form an opinion on or if it's great or if it's horrible. I feel like that's something to be said about the franchise in general. It's not it's not looking good for Sonic. I don't think Sonic's going, going anywhere. I just think maybe mainline games aren't going to be a priority. At the end of the, the day, Sonic Frontiers, it has potential. Do I think it will be fixed in like six to seven months? No. And I, I, I highly doubt the game will be delayed. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter say that we need a demo to really test out how the game feels. And I do agree. If Sega released a demo and showed us how this game controlled, and we got actual, we got the ability to give them feedback. And they could maybe, I don't know, delay it by a couple of months, maybe maybe even till summer of next year. Then I feel like we could have a really 
great Sonic game, a Sonic game that could define the next generation of games. But as it stands right now, this feels like it will be a one-and-done disaster, or even just a one-and-done mediocre run through an open world, and then they're just gonna go back to the same formula they've been boosting through for the past decade. But I could be wrong, and I want to be wrong. I hope this game turns out better than what we've seen. We'll see more gameplay over the course of this month, and we'll probably see even more over the course of the year. Whether it will be great or bad, I'm still going to be watching it, still going to be keeping an eye on this game. Those are just kind of some of my opinions about the game in general. If you disagree, I'd love to see what you have to say about this game in the comments. Because this is probably one of the most indecisive Sonic games I've ever seen. It's either you can't say anything bad about it, or you can only say something bad about it. There's barely any in between. I see it, but not often. So, it, it's obvious that this, this has kind of created a divide. Do I think it will be better than Forces is the big question. Honestly, I think anything could be better than Forces. Everything is better than Forces. 06 is better than Forces, because 06 is fun. Do I think this game looks fun? It, debatably, yeah, I think I could get some enjoyment out of just being the crap out of a bunch of enemies. Probably. But I don't just want it to be the standard of, yeah, this is alright. I want it to be good. But right now, this looks kind of eh. Anyways, those were just my overall opinions about the game. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm signing out. Bye.